Right, this is the Aspen EFD-1000 software from Flight 1 and we've been uh, working with them uh, to produce uh, the software or well, they, they produce the software so it will uh, line up and uh, match our, our physical hardware so you can set it up in, uh, in your own aircraft, in your own um, cockpit and set it like so push the button and change the heading nice and responsive um, it even has a facility if you push and hold it, pop back up to there again. Um, you want the course, the course, and it's nice and responsive. You can do it very, very slowly if you want to, or you can uh, go quite fast. Um, and all the various uh, buttons do all their various things. You can press the menu and decide what you want to do. You want to change the um, barometer from millibars to inches, there we go. Um, now, to make it easier for you to see on the, um, on the screen, I'll pull this back and operate the buttons on here, but I will expand this up to a size where maybe you can see better. In there. Uh, we do actually make a, a larger version of, uh, of this bezel as well, which is not quite as big as you see on the screen now, but uh, it's quite large. Uh, we do that for custom customers, um, so we've made quite a few of those, but um, you can see on here now, if you want to uh, adjust the course, push the course button and rotate, and there we go. Push the course button again, and it'll operate uh, and change the uh, indicator airspeed, which you can set up to whatever you're doing. Um, push it again, back to course again. Heading button uh, does two or three things, it's a heading button on there. Push it again and it lets you change the your, um, set point of your uh, altitude. Push it again, it changes, allows you to change your, um, your Q and H. And as I showed you before, if you want to change various things with using the menu, you hop into here, push the appropriate button along, the button lines up, of course, beside it when you've got it in place. Uh, you can change the um, barometer from millibars to inches and push the button again and it's now in inches um, you can scroll scroll through all of these guys once you're inside the menu change all sorts of different things this is changing the page down here at the moment you can see get back out of the menu um, the other buttons uh, you can press the tapes oh sorry that's the minimums uh, this one here minimum button you can minimum pops up and you can adjust the minimums on there uh, the tape button, you can press the tapes and they disappear out of the way for you if you want a much wider view on your HSI, on your uh, artificial horizon rather. Um, you can change the map and have various things coming up on your map. There's your plus minus of your range. Uh, the map can, uh, the um, display at the bottom can be either a, a complete rose or an arc so you can set it up get you a bit better view of what's going on uh, on the map you can set up a whole variety of different uh, map configurations with airports um, VORs and various um, things like that so um, there is some little backlighting in here. It's a pale um, orangey sort of a colour. It's uh, not much good in bright light like this. Uh, the only button that uh, the software doesn't uh, have, and we don't have either, is the uh, reversionary button up on here. So, um, yeah, that's about it really. Uh, but the, the Aspen has some quite good features. Shows you ground speed once you're flying, outside air temperature, uh, wind, wind speed and direction up on here. Um, so very, very clever. So we're very pleased with it. That's it.